Hello, I'm Paul Harfleet, and I'm the writer and illustrator of Pansy Boy. I'm going to recite the book for you now. For my seven-year-old self. With eyes of green and curls of brown, he was a boy from an average town. He loved to draw and he loved to write. He marvelled at all things in flight. He fashioned planes with folded paper. He became an accomplished paper shaper. As birds flew by, he learned to love kestrel, lapwing and collared dove. Holidays passed in reverie, but school was filled with jeopardy. Slightly crestfallen and reluctantly glum, the day arrived that he knew would come. He packed up his satchel and pencil case, put on his blazer and bravest face. His stance and demeanour may have been fey, his nature girlish and potentially gay. It's not as though he had a say, it was always clear he was born this way. Fairy, pansy, or just queer were the words he came to fear. From dawn till dusk he dealt with the plight of schoolboy tyrants filled with spite. He refused to be bullied for the rest of the year. He had to conquer the cause of his fear. He'd find a way to rise above those that bully, shout and shove. He worked so hard to strategize, he needed to sleep to rest his eyes. He hoped his dreams could generate a simple plan to tackle the hate. In the morning with increasing pace, he went in search of a thinking space. He found a bike adorned with flowers a yard of graves with mournful powers. In locations layered with human woe, he found an idea that began to grow. In the gardens of Kew, he read for hours and learned the language of the flowers. The science of plants cultivated by man, horticulture became the root of his plan. The pansy, a word used by friend and foe, was clearly the botanical way to go. At every place where he'd been hurt, he planted pansies in the dirt. The children's wails became quite choral. Who has turned our schoolyard floral? He explained the motive for this caper by writing in a dart of paper. The plane took flight and came to land within the reach of a teacher's hand. The school now knew the flower's meaning and wasted no time intervening. They kept offenders after school until they learned the golden rule that everybody has the right to live without the need to fight. Now fewer words of hate were said. He no longer felt a sense of dread. His modest plan to raise awareness increased the prospect of future fairness. He returned to gaze at the birds above and felt nothing but awe and love. The end. Pansy Boy by me. Paul Harfleet, available in some good bookshops and on Amazon. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.